Hey everyone, so another great round of phone battles here. We got two phones that are so far my favorites for 2017. We got the LG 6 and the Sony Xperia XES. So let's go ahead and power these phones on. Now both these phones I think are undefeated in the speed test I put them through. Uh, I think there was maybe one or two comparisons where they kind of tied, but for the most part, I think these uh, both of these phones are undefeated. So it really makes this a great matchup here. Now on G6, you have slightly better internal specs. You have the Snapdragon 821 and 4GB RAM. And you guys see there, G6 first one to boot up. And on the Sony, Snapdragon 820 and 4 as well. Alright, and Sony's up now. So yeah, G6 pretty easily winning to boot up test there. Alright guys, so very quick look at the design of the phones. So you see here on LG, they do do a better job with the bezels, very minimal bezels. Also, larger screen on G6, uh, 5.7 inches, 564 pixels per inch. Xperia is 5.2 inches and 424 pixels per inch. So bigger screen and higher resolution on G6. Front facing camera on G6 is 5 megapixels on the Sony's 13. I do have a comparison of that on channel versus the XE. Uh, and it will be doing an XCS video as well. And look at the bottom, so both USB-C. Look at the side. Look at the top. And the other side. So both these phones do have headphone jacks. And look at the back, so if LG you're getting glass. And with Sony Metal. And then with LG you have two rear facing cameras, both are 13 megapixels, one is wide angle. And on Sony you have one at 19. Alright guys, let's go ahead and get started. And as you see, everything's closed down on both phones. Alright, so first up we got Tumper on 2. Now games may be a little bit better on LG 6, uh, just because you have that Snapdragon 21. So yeah, G6 winning this first one. And those are cop cars in the videos, guys. Not in your region. Alright, next up, we got NBC News. Very, very close. You see that they're still refreshing here. Alright, I think that was extremely close. Let me know what you guys think. Next up, we got iFunny. All right, so that one was G6. You too. That one looked like Xperia. Calculator and clock. eBay next. Okay, so Xperia there. Asphalt 8, our second game. Now guys, what I really like about these phones is you're getting great design, uh, great rear-facing cameras, and both of them are waterproof. Alright, so a little surprising. So you have the um, Sony wing, this one. So far, pretty close test. Let's do photos next. All right, I took my eye off it. Uh, I'll write a comment down below though, which one won. ESPN next. This app can be very slow at times, but you guys see there, G6. All right, let's do settings next. Again, very close, let me know in the comments. And Ashball, or rather, uh, into the benchmark. Alright guys, so you're going to see a little bit higher score here on G6. 158,000 versus 153. And really, that comes down to the Snapdragon 21. Next up, let's do Chrome. Alright guys, so a few websites here. Let's do IGN first. 
Guys, the web browsing on the uh, Xperia XDS is incredible. Let's do Nintendo next. Well, I mean, all right. Well, messed that one up. Um, let's do I, or rather, let's do Zelda. Yeah, man, it is really, really insanely fast web browsing for Sony. Yahoo next. And again, we got Sony here pretty easily as well. Let's do a few more. Let's do, um, we'll do CNN.com. All right, so a little bit slower there, but still Sony. Let's do Fox News. And again, shown here, and we'll do one final one with IMDb. All right, I think that last one may have been the LG, but obviously for the most part, Sony won a uh, vast majority of them. So really incredible web browsing there for Sony. All right, guys, next up, let's do camera speed. Now, just going to snap some pictures, and we'll be doing a camera comparison on my channel. Actually, we already have an XZ comparison, if you guys want to check that out. Looks like the LG is a little bit faster than pictures, although the Sony is more megapixels, 19 for the Sony, 13 for the LG. Alright, next up, we'll actually do a speaker comparison, something we usually don't do. Alright guys, so here's the LG 6. Now there's only one speaker, but it is at the bottom, uh gets very gets pretty loud and is very good quality. And let's listen to the Sony. So definitely not as loud here for the Sony, although you do have two speakers on it, so uh, two front facing speakers, and obviously very good quality as well. So yeah, obviously the LG does get louder, although speaker price went not as good. Um, and I would say the quality overall pretty similar. All right, guys, so let's do multitasking in a moment. A lot of you been waiting for. And as usual, gonna make you all wait for a minute while I list off more of the specs. So again, you have a slightly larger screen here on G6, 5.7 inches versus 5.2. Also higher resolution on G6, um, 564 pixels per inch, 424 for the Sony. In terms of cameras, so on LG6, uh, you have two dual ray facing cameras, uh, 13 megapixels. On a Sony, you have one at 19. Front facing camera on G6 is 5 megapixels. On Sony, it's 13. Uh, internal storage, either 32 or 64 gigabytes for both. Both have micro SD card support. 3300 3, capacity battery for the LG6, 2900 for the Sony. Uh, Snapdragon 21 and 40 weights RAM for G6. Snapdragon 20 and 4 as well for Sony. Um, both phones are waterproof, both fingerprint scanners. Now, I did not cover the fingerprint scanner because on Sony it is disabled. Um, I will say, just based on past Sony phones, I think the fingerprint scanner will be a little bit faster on the Sony. LG6 is a little bit slower, it's also on the back. Um, but I did test out the X performance, which is a year old at this point, uh, and it is faster than the LG. Uh, so again, if you have the American version like me of the Sony, it is disabled. You would have to get the UK firmware in order to get that. But for the rest of the world, um, just trust me, I think that the Sony is faster for your scanner than the LG6. And both USB-C at the bottom. Um, so yeah, the most covers it. Let's go in and do some multitasking. All right, so first up, we got Temp Run 2. Oof. 
turn off the volume there. But um, obviously extremely fast set for both. Wow, there's so many sirens. <laughs> All right. Next up. Let's go back towards the beginning with NBC News. All right, so I think there was a slight edge there for the Sony iPhone next. All right, so Sony there. eBay. Once again, we got Sony there. Uh, let's see YouTube. Sony. Yeah, Sony. Sorry about that, guys. My uh, camera just ran out of storage. Filming this on the Sony Xperia Z5. Um, but yeah, this is YouTube. Sony won that. Let's see Asphalt 8. Very close on both. But yeah, both these companies, they've really improved the multitasking from past phones. Oops. Never really been a strong suit for either of these companies, but with these two phones doing really well. All right, Chrome next. And we'll do one or two more with the photos. All right, so again, Sony there. And let's do one final one with your camera. So yeah, guys, I think Sony obviously winning multitasking here. Um, definitely one of the best multitasking phones I own. Maybe even the best. Now, guys, I think both these phones are very similar in what they're going for. They both have great cameras, the waterproof, uh, excellent designs. They both are obviously extremely fast. So for those reasons, these two are so far my favorite for 2017. Um, but they both clearly have advantages, like on the LG 6, for example. This one does have a better design. And the Sony also has advantages, of course, as at 960 frames per second slow motion camera, which is an awesome new feature. But for the most part, they're pretty similar. Um, now, in terms of the speed test, I think that both these phones did really well. Now, I think maybe the Sony did a little bit better overall. Um, and obviously, one in some categories, like the web browsing, the multitasking. The apps, I think, were pretty split. Um, G6 though, it did win the boot up, it did win the camera speed. Um, so yeah guys, it really depends on which is most important to you. If you're more into web browsing, multitasking, stuff like that than Sony, um, on G6 you're probably going to get a little, bit, a little bit better performance from gaming, uh, as you guys saw in the Intuito benchmark. Um, so yeah everyone, thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more by pressing right there, or watch another video by pressing right there. And as always, thanks for watching.